CEC tap conductors. What is a tap conductor? A conductor that is branched off the main electrical bus bar or distribution block. The tap conductor can be smaller compared to the main feeder or bus. This is the source and this is the feeder, which feeds the, the bus bar or distribution block. And these are branches or tap conductors going to the individual loads. Tap conductors in general. This video will be about tap conductors rules in a general setting. We will be looking at section 14, protection and controls of the CEC. In section 14, under the protection device section, please head over to 14100 overcurrent protection of conductors. Each ungrounded conductor shall be protected by an overcurrent device at the point where it receives its supply of current and at each point where the size of conductor is decreased, except that such protection shall be permitted to be omitted in each of the following cases. This pretty much says to protect the conductor at the source as well as where you decrease the wire size, but there are a couple conditions that will allow us to not require an overcurrent device. Fourteen one hundred servo A, where the overcurrent device in the larger conductor properly protects the smaller conductor. This means that if the upstream overcurrent protection is sized small enough that it also protects the reduced size conductor, we would not be required to have another overcurrent protection between the conductors. Let's look at an example here that will illustrate this statement. Our over current will be 60 amps. The main feeder will be number four, good for 85. And our load conductor will be number six for 65. Do we need to have an over current protection here? According to several A, we can omit the protection at this junction. If the downstream conductor has an opacity less than 60 amps, and we would need to install an overcurrent protection there. So in this case, we are okay. Fourteen one hundred several B, where the smaller conductor has an impasse not less than the combined computed loads of the circuit supplied by the smaller conductor and not less than the ampere rating of the switchboard, panel board, or control device supplied by the smaller conductor. Not more than three meters long, does not extend beyond the switchboard, panel board, or control device that it is supplies, and is enclosed in a non-ventilated raceway, armored cable, or metal sheath cable, when not part of the wiring in a switchboard, panel board, or other control devices. Given. This is our bus. We have a 2.5 meter tap. This is our load. They draw 60 amps with a termination temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. Find the size of conductor for the tap. So not less than the combined computed load supplied by the smaller conductor. That's 60 amps. Has the ampere rating of the switchboard. To find that, we must size the wire first, which is number 6 for 65, size the overcurrent device of 70 amps. Therefore, the switchboard was 70 amps. And it's not more than 3 meters long, which we 
are okay. Therefore, the larger the two wire is 70 amps. So our wire size for the tap would be a number four, good for 85 amps. Fortune 100 several C for the smaller conductor has an opacity not less than one third that of the larger conductor from which it is supplied and is suitably protected from mechanical damage. It is not more than seven and a half meters long and terminates in a single overcurrent device rated or set at a value not exceeding the conduct capacity of the conductor, but beyond the single overcurrent device, the conductor shall be permitted to supply any number of overcurrent devices. Given. This time we have a bus of 400 amps with the tap conductor of 5.88 meters connected to an overcurrent device feeding the load. The load draws 82 amps and the termination temperature is 75 degrees Celsius. Find the size of conductor for the tap. One third of the larger conductor for which it is supplied. So we have a 400 amp bus, therefore we must use a 600 kC mill for 420. We take a third of this which gives us 140 amps. Not more than seven and a half meters long, which we're okay. And it terminates at a single organ device ready or set and not exceeding the capacity of the conductor. So we'll size the conductor first, which is the number four for 85 amps, and then the over curve 90 amps. As you can see, 140 is bigger than 90. So we use that to size our tap conductor, which gives us a one lot for 150 amps. If the opacity of the overcurrent device is larger than the one third of the larger conductor, then the tap shall be sized not less than the opacity of the overcurrent device. If the tap is greater than seven and a half meters, then the tap shall be the same size as the feeder conductor. Given. We have a bus that's 400 amps, a tap that's 9.1 meters, overcurrent device feeding a load that draws 103 amps with a termination temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. Find the size of conductor for the tap. So because the bus is 400 amps, we know a 600 kC mill for 420 amps. And it's the same for the tap. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet liked or subscribed, please do so. Add this the indicator that you're liking my content. If there are any concerns, please feel free to leave a comment. Have a happy learning experience.